Hello, and welcome to KB1010920. This video demonstrates how to join a node to a cluster. I want to begin by taking a look at a system that is set up with cluster data on tap. So you'll see in the left window that I'm logging in as admin, and I'm going to issue the cluster show command and take a look at my cluster. And when I do so, I see nodes 1, 2, and 4. I have another system on the right that I have re-initted and is at the point where it's prompting me to join a cluster. So for this demonstration, I'm going to begin by hitting Control C and going through this process manually. You'll want to use the cluster setup wizard, but I'm hoping that this manual process shows you what's going on behind the scenes when you go through that wizard. So I begin by logging in and notice I'm not prompted for a password because this system is not fully configured. And take a look at my prompt. There's no host name in the prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to issue the command host name. And I'm going to give this host the name cluster1-03 because I'll eventually be joining it to cluster1 and it will be node03. And I issue the host name command, I see that it's set, and I take a look at the prompt and I also see the name is now in the prompt. So now that I've done that, my next step would be to create a management lift or logical interface. So I say network interface create and my lift name is going to be management1 and the role is going to be node-management and my host name or home dash node is my host name and my port is E0A. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that giving the IP address and the net mask. And then I notice that this is set, setting a routing group for me. But if I'm using 8.1, so state on tap 8.1, I would have to do this manually. So I'm just going to show you what that command would look like. It would be network, routing, dash groups, route, create. And I would go through that to set my routing group manually. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, well, first I'm going to issue network interface state show and I'm just going to see that network management was set so I have that that one left and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to modify my my data ports and or my and my cluster ports so that they're ready for me to create more more lifts so I go ahead and I'm going to issue um, net port modify dash roll cluster and I'm using the asterisk or wildcard to say on this system and all ports starting with E1 and I'm setting the MTU to 9000 which I always use for my cluster ports so I go ahead and I do that and I, I modify that port and then afterwards while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and create so, or modify some data ports and what I'm doing here is setting the role for these ports that's the modification that I'm making so notice it takes a little bit of time and that's fine I go ahead and I let it finish up and I see two entries were modified which would be E1A and E1B and like I said I'm going to next, um, next issue the command net port modify dash node cluster um, that's the, my host name and then port E0 asterisk and I'm going to set the role to data And once again, you don't have to um, use the asterisk. You could have said cluster 1-03 if that's your host name. I just wanted to show examples doing both. Now once I've done that, um, I can then go ahead and create my, my lift. So I'm going to say net int create dash lift plus 1 dash roll cluster dash home node. And once again, this time I typed out the node name or the host name and I'm setting the port E1A and this sets the address and it sets the net mask. So I go ahead and I can do that and you want to remember you can always use a tab key if you um, have trouble typing or you can um, if you make a mistake it'll bring you back to the prompt and you can backspace and fix whatever comes up. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. 
So uh, here I meant to type in status. It says invalid argument, right? So now I'm brought back and I can do this again. And like I said, the, the tab is a good way to, um, if if you miss something to see what what you should what it was expecting you to type in or what you should have typed in. So once I've done that, I'm now ready to issue my command um, cluster join. I get the cluster IP address, at which in this case is 172.10.0.114, but that's going to be unique for your your environment. And you can see some stuff going on here in the background on my left-hand machine. I issue cluster show, and I don't see node 3 yet. And I let a little bit more time pass, and I issue cluster show again. And now I'll see that I do have um, this, this node in my cluster. And as you can see, the join process is still going on in the background and on the other system, so I want to let it finish out. But that's how I would join a cluster manually. Thank you for watching this video.